Good morning. I thank the gentlelady lady from Michigan for yielding, and I'm uh, very pleased with your leadership and us working together on a very important component of America's national security, and more importantly, uh, Madam Chair, asserting uh, the jurisdictional authority of Homeland Security and the Border Security Committee as it relates to the question of uh, comprehensive immigration reform. We know well that as the debate moves rather swiftly, one of the issues that has been raised or that will be raised um, either as uh, a constructive component or either uh, in uh, some uh, camps and categories uh, as um, one that would distract from comprehensive immigration form, it is uh, whether or not we have uh, a secure border. Your last hearing, our last hearing, uh, where we asked how uh, the border was being secured uh, was an important uh, outlay, if you will, of uh, establishing what is actually happening. This hearing is important because it is really key uh, to have how that is measured. And the experts that you have here, as I welcome the witnesses, will be very constructive in our journey toward making sure uh, that the border security effort is led by this full committee, chairman and ranking member, and this subcommittee uh, that I believe is, is working with good intentions. Let me also acknowledge uh, Congressman Beto O'Rourke for championing uh, the value of understanding the border uh, and um, uh, providing us with insight uh, as it relates to the expertise uh, that is uh, in his congressional district. And so besides the witnesses, uh, we look forward to welcoming Judge Escobar uh, for that expertise, and we thank the Congressman for his uh, leadership on that issue. I'm pleased the subcommittee is meeting to examine the Department of Homeland Security's efforts to use metrics to quantify border security. This discussion is particularly timely as Congress continues to work on legislation to reform our immigration system. Border security will be an integral part uh, of this discussion. Also, in recent years, Congress has made unprecedented investments in border security personnel, technology, and resources to help DHS achieve that goal. Existing border metrics, while perhaps imperfect, indicate these investments have paid off. Uh, apprehensions of border crosses totaled nearly 365,000 nationwide in FY 2012, which is a 78 percent decrease from their peak in FY 2000. According to the Government Accountability Office, Budget Patrol data shows that the effectiveness rate for eight of the nine border panel sectors on the southwest border improved from fiscal years 2006 to 2011. <coughs> They also found that the recidivism rate across uh, has dropped to 36 percent in fiscal year 2011, down from 42 percent in fiscal year 2008. Certainly our leadership on the board, border uh, should be uh, acknowledged for the work that our law enforcement uh, has done along with Homeland Security. Um, it is important to note these strides and we thank you for it. It is important that for Congress to have an accurate assessment of remaining needs at our borders so we can identify areas for improvement, but I'm encouraged that the trends, that the, about the trends that we're seeing, but I also want to say that we want to make sure these trends um, are being seen in the light that they should be, um, and that is uh, that you have the resources that you need, or is it combined with a weak economy? Uh, likely we will hear some of that uh, today. While metrics are useful to measure our continued progress toward better managed borders, I will reiterate my strong opposition to tying comprehensive immigration reform uh, to achieving uh, some arbitrary standard of border security or some exaggerated standard, meaning that to make the argument that the border is not secure and won't be for many years to come, and therefore we will not be able to complete comprehensive immigration reform. Indeed, we must move forward on parallel tracks, reforming our broken immigration system while continuing to work together to achieve more secure borders. I would also caution that no single uh, number or metrics can tell us whether our borders are secure. Geography and terrain of our borders are very diverse, 
and the threats can differ from mile to mile based on highways, mountains, waterways, plains, and deserts. Uh, Madam Chair, I do want to focus on uh, the area that our colleague, Mr. Barber, is from, the Arizona desert area, and the concerns that he's expressed over the last uh, couple of months and time that he's been on this committee. Also, metrics that are useful at the ports of entry will differ from those that are meaningful for, for between the ports of entry. Instead, I believe DHS should use a range of data uh, points combined with stakeholder input to determine the state of the border and to make decisions about where additional resources may be necessary. Today, I hope to hear from the operators, Chief Fisher, Assistant Commissioner McClellan, about what they believe are the best metrics to assess the state of our borders. I'm particularly interested uh, in hearing from CBP about what metrics are most valuable at the ports of entry, which is something we hear less about compared challenges between the ports of entry. Further, I want to hear about um, how Mr. Borkowski uses information from the operators both in developing border condition X index and in making border security technology acquisition decision. Lastly, and arguably most importantly, I would like to hear from Judge Escobar on how border cities and communities' input and needs could be included uh, in these decisions. I thank the witnesses for joining us uh, and look forward to a productive discussion. Uh, finally, in conclusion, I'm aware of the GEL report, which I'll make more comments on uh, as I go forward, and the metrics uh, request that was made by Congressman Thompson and also uh, Mr. Barbers. And as the ranking member, I uh, will look forward to analyzing that report and probing it more closely. Uh, finally, Madam Chair, uh, I will look to posing some questions regarding the utilization of drones on the border and will look forward to some in-depth responses uh, to that inquiry. Uh, this is an important hearing. I thank the witnesses and look forward to a productive discussion. I yield back to the gentlelady. I thank the gentlelady.